Hello everybody, um, I said I'd do a tutorial a while ago um, on how to make this wavy sound um, visualizer. So I decided I would do that um, today I guess when I have a little bit of free time. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use one of my um, one of my newer songs that I hope to get out uh, soon and I will import file. Now I'm just going to use um, let's use one of these things that I'll find. Okay let's use the Eclipse one that I found and then edited my name over now file. It doesn't it has to be a sound file for you to do this um, in general I guess I should say. Um, now let's go all the way down to song. Um, yeah, we'll do my trap preview. Minute 14, so composition, new composition. One minute and 14 seconds. Okay. Now, drag your song in there and drag the picture you want over top of it. Or if you don't have a picture that you want, just use nothing, I guess. It's... Um, and if you want a picture to enlarge perfect size like mine is, um, you just click shift and then drag. Well, you drag and then click shift. So um, there you have this. Now, if you see, my music goes all over by a little bit. Up here, it goes over by a little bit, but that's that's normal. Oh. It goes over by a little bit, but that's normal. It's okay. Um, now here, what I want to do is go to ne uh, new, in layer, new, solid, name it, visualizer. I better have spelled that right. Make it whatever color you want. doesn't really matter. It will go over the entire thing. That's not a problem. Don't freak out. Go to effect. Well, actually, make sure you have this. Uh, layer you called visualizer clicked and then click effect now go down to generate and audio spectrum audio waveform is a lot different from audio spectrum but um, the one I'm going to show you is audio spectrum now depending on what the screen size of uh, your video editing or that your editing is like what you've chosen it to be mine is 1920 by 1080 but for the top one you're just gonna go to zero if you wanted to stretch from edge to edge like I did and then however long your thing is mine is 1920 um, now I'm gonna make these uh, little dots you see here a lot thicker and then they'll kinda get a lot um, more blurry you just have to turn this down to about 10 that's what I do every time pretty much and now I'm going to change mine to the color white you should change both of them so that they're both white. Oh, damn. Change both of them so they're both white. Um, now I'm just pushing mine up. With I clicked on it and I clicked the up arrow key. Now, you're going to want to go up here and go down to the WAV file or the audio file that you've chosen and click on it. That is the lower end of the frequency that's the higher end right now I'm gonna change that this to one and then this will be 300 so it looks like that I'm gonna change it to side A which basically just changes it A B A A and B is just both so whatever you want um, I'm gonna move this this is how, just how many bands there are how many little dots or waves there are um, and then the height. See how I just made it really high? I don't want it that high, so we're just we're gonna make it 800, maybe. Yeah, there you go. 800 is probably the the best one that I like to use a lot. I don't know what the audio duration does. Let's see what that does. Okay, so that just totally messes everything up. I'll just click in 90 again. Don't mess around with that, I guess. Um. Offset, what does that do? Oh, I know what it does. Okay, I see. 
Never mind, don't use any of that either. Uh, that's probably a bad thing. Um, I don't know what else to show you. This guy right here, all this does is makes the lines. Um, this one is just dots, but I like to use digital. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click Control C and Control V, which is which is uh, copy for Control C, and Control V is paste. Now you're going to want to click on the one that just was made, click over here, and then just drag it all the way down to where you want it to be, or up depending on where you've put it. But if you only want one, then I guess this tutorial ends here for you. <laughs> um, make it the preview of Trap again. I'm putting it as the bottom, I guess, uh, side B, and that's it for this tutorial. Ask me what else I should do in the comments down below. I'll see you next time.